Lord bless this thing. And I will gain mine. And may the Lord deliver us from evil. Red all of us. Turn the place over and have to. I'm a little off my feet. Ugly hat farm. Red nose. that the Confederate government is gathering an army of thief and will soon be on the attack again. Why is it so fucking laggy? It's good. It does suck. Robbie Lee was not a well man at Gettysburg. Some historians say he might have a minor heart attack, and it's been the judgment that it affected his thinking on how... Wow, that's his great-grandson. In early June, Lee and the Army of Northern Virginia, now 71,000 strong, begin crossing the Blue Ridge Mountains northward into the Shenandoah Valley. And by June 15th, the lead elements have crossed the Potomac River into Maryland. Once again, Lee and Davis attempt to invade the North. And he goes north with the same kind of objectives, thinking that this is somehow going to so demoralize the Union that it will end the war effort. And what he finds on the Gettysburg campaign is, again, that the Union army, it rallies them. In choosing to go to Gettysburg, whether Vicksburg would achieve something up or not, it does show a certain limitation in the Union's vision for the war. Thoroughly alarmed, Lincoln removes the ineffective Joseph Hooker and appoints General George Gordon Lee to lead the Army of the Potomac. He is Lincoln's fourth commander in eight months. Lee takes over command as the Union Army marches parallel to Robert E. Lee's forces on the opposite sides of the mountains across the river through Maryland, and finally to the little town of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Lee there. Lee's forces first collide with the Yankee cavalry on July 1st, 1863. Lee did not wish to bring on a major battle at this point. But the Battle of Gettysburg has begun. Forces do not capture the hills of the city. A fatal miscalculation. The tide is with the Confederacy on day one. The Union Army is prescient enough to take command of the heights on the outskirts of the town and have the most commanding position. So they're in the best situation they could possibly be for having been beaten that first day. By nighttime, much of the remaining infantry of both armies arrives on the field. Over 150,000 men on both sides. Wow. The horror is just beginning for Robert E. Lee. Tomorrow on an all new Ancient Aliens, we have the records as described in the Book of Enoch and the Watchers came to introducing hidden technologies. The Watchers. The Watchers are messengers tasked with managing the herd and watching over humans. What is their purpose? Nothing happens on Earth that is not executed by the watchers. Who are they? What are they? And all the weapons are in jail. Stay away from that window. I am afraid. I am. What do you want, man? 
identifiable. Thank you. 
is the bitterest pill for me. Thousands lie dead. As the Federal Army still occupies the ridge. There's actually a European observer who's attached to them at this time and is really taking notes on how he's manning this operation. And he faults him also as if every one of his subordinates is these plans and he is overriding them. They have hit the Union right the first day and the Union left the second. Tomorrow, Lee will try to hit the Union south with the fresh division of General George Pickett's Virginians. Yeah. It will be a charge. Ironically, Grant's greatest victory and Lee's greatest defeat will come within hours of each other on the 87th anniversary of the birth of the United States, July 4th, 1865. Grant's siege of Vicksburg lasts from May to July of 1863, during which time the town and its citizens suffer terribly between the Union bombardment and slow starvation. From the Mississippi River to the west side of town, about a dozen U.S. Navy mortar ships conduct a 24-hour barrage from huge 13-inch guns that lob missiles as big as full-grown hogs, which wreck buildings and blow holes in the ground between 18 and 16 miles. And from the east, Grant's siege guns keep up a steady fire that kill people and destroy many of the antebellum homes. Grant in Vicksburg is ultimately realizing and proving to this with a hard war, utilizing every single possible resource Grant could possibly get his hands on. By this time, the Vicksburg has been under siege in one way or the other for nearly a year. And the people are taken to being saved. Some people live 100 people in these days. They furnish them with old Persian rugs and tables and chairs and lamps, help them with kitchen. By June. It is apparent that the end is near for the rebel army. Food has become so scarce that the soldiers are forced to eat their mules, then their horses. 27-year-old Mary Luxborough lives in pay with her two-year-old daughter, while her husband, the major in the Confederate army, fights in the lines. Food has nearly given out. At one point, one of the Confederate soldiers stopped by the cave and brought him a jaybird to play with. And the little girl played with it only for a minute or two, and then she lost interest. The servant, the slave, who just wanted to, took care of the child, said, well, Miss Longbow, she's hungry. Why don't you let me take the little bird and make her some soup? Mary Lockborough is horrified. She says, at first I refused. The poor little plaything should not die. Then, as I thought of the child, I half consented. Very soon there appeared a little bowl of soup on a plate with a little bit of white meat for the child. And that's how bad it's become. You like pepper or no pepper on your potatoes? As June no pepper. Were closed, no? the situation is desperate. Confederate General John Pepperton receives an anonymous letter reporting to be from the men in the ranks, titled, An Appeal for Help. Men don't want to starve, but if you can't feed us, you had better feed us, horrible as the idea is. Pepperton has little choice. It is clear no Confederate army is going to relieve them. There's no reason to have the men starve to death. Why do one thing? Starvation is something else. And so he went out to see General. On July 3rd, about the same time that Lee is undergoing his ordeal at Gettysburg, Pepperton goes out to meet Grant between the lines in the shade of an oak tree. There is some parlay and disagreement over terms, but after Pepperton returns to his side, he sends Grant a note saying he will capitulate the rebel army. It arrives well past midnight, but Grant has remained awake in his tent and at his desk. Grant's son, Freddie, age 13, is laying on a cot when his father opened the envelope. He gave a sigh of relief. Vicksburg has surrendered. There was no shouting, 
no histrionics. It was pure brand. It was known as unconditional surrounding land. But in Bellman's case, he decided not to imprison the Confederate Army because he didn't have enough transport to carry all along the way. So he looked out of the Great Bird. The following morning, July 4th, 1863, the rebel flags are struck all along the lines around Vicksburg, and Grant's victorious army marches into the city. Hungry, starved condition of the rebel soldiers. Many of the blue coats break ranks and begin offering hard tack and beef jerky from their assets. Soon the formation becomes intermingled. Tails are swapped, hands are shaken. It is over. Grant has won what might have been the greatest victory in the Western theater of operations. Dad, I know I haven't said this often enough, but thank you. Thank you, Mom, for protecting my future. Thank you for being my hero or my dad. Military families are uniquely thankful for many things. The legacy of USAA auto insurance could be one of them. If you're a current or former military member or their family, get an auto insurance quote and see why 92% of our members plan to stay for life. It's Ram commercial truck season. And if you want to build something ahead of its time, you'll need trucks that are ahead of the rest. Trucks with the best fuel economy, 28 MPG highway, the best towing, 30,000 pounds, best torque, 865 pound feet, and the best payload, over 4,400 pounds. The complete lineup of is ready to help you start building tomorrow. Get a great deal during Ram commercial truck season. At Burger King, the five pound. Uh, dinner's ready. Now I'm recording a video. We're staying the longest.
such an older way of I'll take every man who can sit a horse and put him down. I'll bring him a you to admit his lies before I hang him. Pray God they be nice. I want every man check and get a ride with me. I'm not going to tell you that. Shut the... Oh my god. Put it on pause. I can't pause the fucking recording. Yeah. No.